What's going on, everybody? It's Dom from The Game Looters, and today we are jumping into JRPGs that you need to check out in October 2024. Now, I know this month isn't overloaded with a ton of JRPG releases, but trust me, the ones that we are getting this month are probably some of the best this year. I'm talking absolute fire. One of them, I'm calling it right now, has some serious game of the year potential, at least in the JRPG category, and at least for me personally. So let's not waste any time. Grab your controllers, grab your pumpkin spice in that October sense, and let's break down what you need to be playing this month. All right, first on the list is East 10 Nordics. All right. Starting with East 10 Nordics, if you've been with Adol Kristen through his many, many adventures, you already know the deal. Yeast is one of those action RPG series that never misses. This is coming to the West on October the 25th, so later in the month, and Yeast 10 is going to shift and change the formula as we know it in some hopefully exciting ways. First off, no more party system. Instead, you'll be switching between Adol and a new character called Kaja, a seafaring warrior. And you can even control both of them simultaneously in what they're calling like a combination mode. This new mechanic adds a cool layer of strategy, hopefully, to the combat that we're going to enjoy. Also, where it gets super interesting is there's now naval battles. I don't know how it's going to be, but it's exciting that there's a new element. And you'll be sailing between islands and you'll be fighting off foes and uncovering hidden treasures, much like the pirate we're all aspiring to be. This world is going to feel really expansive with a big focus on exploration that'll hopefully keep us coming back for more. Of course, add in true and fair, just like Yeez has always done, a really dope soundtrack and some visuals that, you know, are probably going to be in line with East 9 and 8. But overall, East Nordics is looking like a can't-miss action-adventure RPG for all of us JRPG fans. Next up, a game that I didn't know was going to be on my list, but I am definitely getting more hype for as it comes around the corner, and that's Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven. Now, this is a remake of a 1993 classic that I have to tell you that I have not played. So if you're into those school, like old school type RPGs, but this one's going to have a modern twist because it is a remake, this is going to come out on October 24th. Now, Romancy Saga 2 is supposed to bring back its multi-generational empire building gameplay, but now it's going to have that really crisp 3D visuals and some revamped combat to hopefully give us that quality of life that we didn't have back all those years ago. What we're going to be doing is leading an empire through multiple generations and every decision that we make is going to influence the next ruler's ability to manage their future kingdom. The game's story is packed with a ton of drama as you face off against the seven heroes, once protectors of the world, now your and my enemies. It's got that cool turn-based classic gameplay and combat with some added speed and strategy, again quality of life. So expect that our tactical skills are going to be tested. Whether you're a fan of the original or a newcomer like myself to the series, this is supposed to be a really deep JRPG experience. So Romancy Saga 2 should be, if it wasn't already, on your radar. All right, game number three is going to be maybe a little controversial, but this is definitely for fans of the series, but new folks can definitely come into this as well. And that is Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream. We're just a few days out from the release, but for something that is really cool in the Sword Art Online universe, Fracture Daydream. So if you're a fan or not a fan, but if you're a fan of the series, let's get ready because this one's shaping up to be a really cool ride. The latest entry kicks off right after the 10th anniversary of Sword Art Online and the game series and is supposed to bring in a brand new system called Galaxia. Galaxia is going to allow players to relive the past, but naturally within the game. This is going to bring, um, you know, kind of, it's going to kind of like turn things on its side a little bit and kind of twist things up as we know it. But that means that we're going to get characters from all over the Sword Art Online timeline and universe showing up, including some long lost friends and enemies. So get really hyped. 
What's really cool about Fractured Daydream as well is it does have a big focus on multiplayer. So you can choose from 21 characters, each with their own unique role, and team up with said players from around the world, with five party of four players each. Multiplayer co-op action is where the game is supposed to shine. Now, I can't say I'm going to specifically be playing multiplayer, but I definitely am excited for those who will. Plus, it obviously wouldn't be Sword Art Online without some epic raid battles, so expect some high difficulty bosses and the need for serious teamwork to come up on top. Literally, this is probably going to be the best SAO game since, like, the bullet game that we got. Um, prob Fatal Bullet, we got that earlier... Uh, five, six years ago, something like that. I think that was the best a SAO game that we've ever gotten. And this seems like more of that. So get really hype about this one. This one should be on your list as well, or potentially on your list for at least when it goes and gets on sale later on. All right, bringing up the rear at the last game on the list. And this is that game of the year contender I was talking about. All right, we have Metaphor Re Fantasio. Now, I have been hyping this game up because it's from one of my favorite developers at Atlas, and this has kind of like that persona in that fantasy setting. All right, anyways, this game is probably gonna end up being my personal pick for at least potential game of the year. It does have to take down some heavy, hi hi some heavy hitters for me. I can talk, I promise. Uh, like Unicorn Overlord, like Persona 3 Reload, and like SMT5 Vengeance. As you can see, they're all Atlas games, but they all are masterpieces. Now, this is, this is behind the same folks that created the Persona series. Uh, Refantasio is going to drop on October the 11th. And if you haven't already, go check out the demo. It is like three to six hours and it is awesome. The story is going to kick off with the assassination of a king, throwing the kingdom into complete chaos. From there, it's a big freaking roller coaster of political intrigue, magic, and personal quests as you team up with your fairy companion, Gala to lift a curse on the now needed prince. The combat system is a blend of turn-based mechanics and real-time action, giving each battle a strategic and dynamic feel. And let's not forget the relationship building side of the things. It's awesome. It's from Persona and it's here. If you're a fan of managing your time between quests and social interactions, just like the aforementioned game, you're going to love how Metaphor it handles character growth and interaction. This game world is packed with dungeons, towns, and landscapes that you'll have you exploring for hours. I'm not even kidding. Go play the demo. From the visuals that are gorgeous to the soundtrack that's hot, it's got that signature Atlas polish. So this is a game that you do not want to miss, so go get that pre-order right now. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the in, in the description, but literally go get this pre-order. This is going to be one of the best games of the year for sure. And that's it, my friends. These are the four games that need to be on your list for October 2024. So whether you're trying to go sail them seas with Adol, build an empire in Romancing Saga, or you're trying to dive into some multiplayer madness in SAO, or you want to go and get lost in the medieval world of Metaphor Re Fantasio, there's plenty to keep you busy this month. Let me know in the comments which game you're most excited about. What did I miss? Was there a hidden gem that I didn't cover on this list? Hit me with it in the comments. And if you're digging these JRPG breakdowns, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, I've been Dom from The Game Leaders, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.